Hello there, my name is Mamedov, and in this video, I want to show you how we done development form for one of our customer uh, for the uh, price calculation. So we done to development when uh, price it's depend and uh, on an amount of purchasing of items. So for example, you got one price for ten items, or you got another price for for one hundred items. And also in uh, product section, you can see a uh, price uh, for which particular item, which you used uh, for the invoice for that particular customer. So for that development, uh, we done the following. For example, we got a deal. And in that deal, we're going to go to product. And uh, so I will delete that for a while. And for that deal, we select in products. For example, we select the, that product and that product. And what do we got here? We got, uh, we got name, description, uh, unit of measurements and a good price for based on numbers. So 10, 20, 1, 10, 20, 50. So let's check that. For example, for 10, you got this price. Let's put 10. So we got that price. But for the 50, we got that price. So let's put 100 more than 50. So when we see that this price equal to this one and total the same. The same thing for the second uh, item. So we can put that price for 10, that price. And if we put 100, we got white price. But this is not, uh, this is not everything. Also, a customer want to see the previous price he used for that particular customer. In this column, uh, how we can check that? So we can go back to products, and we got company. So we assign that in company. We're going to back to all deals for that particular company, and we see that we got one deal for that particular company, and we can add the products in that uh, deal. For example, we add in the same products as before. And uh, for example, we'll put here 100 and 100. So we'll use this price and save it. Okay. Then we got a deal which we had previously, and for example, it closed many, uh, many times ago. But now we got another deal here. And we have to have the same price for that particular customer, um, but for the new deal. So we're going back. I'll refresh our page. Open the same deal. So double check. So going to back to company, going to deals. So we got previous, uh, previous deal with that particular customer for that uh, uh, with some totals and some. Uh, numbers for, for each item going to products. We'll delete that, what we already got here. Okay, okay and we're going to select the products. Okay, we select the same products and this one. And what happened now? Uh, a script now going back here, open that company, and checking all deals we have got inside of the deals, he checking if you got the same products as you selected in current deal. In our case, product one, product four. Okay, so going back and we select one product one, product four based on last deal, and we see price which is used previously. And that price highlighted red because it's not that price not fit to the current price. So if you will put the same price, 
you see red line uh, red highlighted it disappeared the same here Disappeared. So, in that case, uh, our customer got a choice. He can sell items based on numbers, and these numbers stored in the product section. So you got numbers, and you got uh, each price for each uh, number of unit you're going to sell, and also which and that price automatically. This is just for information of a client, and in this field is not editable. We're not able to edit. But that price copied here automatically, which he able to change manually to make discount or something like that. Also, client now see previous price for that, for that particular item from previous deals. So that's it actually. If you like that video, please uh, click like. And if you have questions, you can put your questions uh, in comments under that video. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.